Problem 10. Determine the pressure required at sprinkler B for the branch line shown. The following information is provided. K is equal to 5.65. The C factor is 120. We have an ordinary hazard group 2 hazard. Schedule 40 steel pipe. Velocity pressure is excluded. The sprinkler coverage is equal to 110 square feet and the design density is 0.2 gallons per minute per foot. Is the answer A, 15.2 PSI, B, 15.3 PSI, C, 27.2 PSI, or D, 17.1 PSI? The following is a summary of information for problem 10. Step 1. Identify the classification occupancy. Ordinary hazard group 2. Step 2. Determine the water demand requirements. 0.2 gallons per minute per square foot. Step 3. Determine the pre protection area per sprinkler. 110 square feet. Step 4. Determine the number of sprinklers in the design area not needed. We're only going to calculate two sprinklers. Step five, determine the shape of the design area. Not needed. Step six, determine the number of sprinklers per branch line. Two sprinklers. Other information provided. K is equal to 5.65 and our C factor is 120. Some added information. Uh, this is ordinary hazard group two. We're using schedule 40 steel pipe and velocity pressure is not included. The solution to problem 10 is 17.1 PSI. Step 1. Determine the sprinkler flow at sprinkler A. 110 square feet times 0.2 gallons per minute per square foot equals 22 GPM. Step 2. Determine the pressure at sprinkler A. P is equal to Q squared divided by K squared. 22 divided by 5.65 squared equals 3.89 squared. Our pressure at the end head is 15.2 PSI. Step 3. Determine the friction loss through 1 inch schedule 40 pipe flowing 22 gallons per minute. P is equal to the constant 4.52 times the flow to the 1.85 power. Divide by the C factor to the 1.85 power times the diameter to the 4.87 power. You could do the math. You should come up with a friction loss of 0.156 PSI per foot. Step 4. Multiply the length of the pipe by the friction loss. 12 feet times 0.156 PSI per foot is equal to 1.872 PSI. Let's round it up to 1.9 PSI. Step 5. Add the pressure at sprinkler A to the pressure loss. 15.2 PSI plus 1.9 PSI gives us 17.1 PSI. Problem 11. Determine the pressure at sprinkler number 2 for the following sprinkler system. This is a plan view, schedule 40 pipe, standard fittings, wet system, C is equal to 120. The area per sprinkler is 144 square feet. The design density is 0.2 GPMs. There is no elevation change. The correct answer for problem number 11 is 28.44 PSI. Step 1. Calculate the flow and pressure at Q1, or most remote sprinkler. Protection area per sprinkler times density. Q1 is equal to 144 square feet times 0.2 gallons per minute per square foot. Q1 is equal to 28.8 gallons per minute. Q1 is equal to K times the square root of P. So P1 is equal to Q divided by K squared. So P is equal to 28.8 divided by 5.62. So our pressure is 26.4 PSI. Step 2. Calculate the flow and pressure. Calculate the friction loss between the first sprinkler. This is the friction loss 
for the eight feet of schedule 40 pipe that is flowing 28.8 gallons per minute. Using the Hazen-Williams formula, we find that P is equal to 4.52 times Q to the 1.85 power divided by C to the 1.85 power times D to the 4.87 power. You do the math. We have at the so far 8 feet times 0.255 PSI, friction loss per foot, and that will give us a friction loss of 2.04 PSI. Step 3. Now you can calculate the flow required for sprinkler number 2. Sprinkler number 2 is equal to K times the square root of the pressure. K2 is equal to 5.6 times the square root of 28.44 PSI. Therefore, Q2 is 29.86 gallons per minute. The total flow at this point is the sum of Q1 and Q2. Sprinkler 1 and Sprinkler 2. 28.8 gallons per minute plus 29.86 gallons per minute equals 58.66 gallons per minute. With a flow at sprinkler number 2 of 58.66 gallons per minute, the pressure at sprinkler number 2 is 28.44 PSI. Problem 12. In a flow test, the static and residual pressure readings are taken at a hydrant outlet having a center line elevation of 100 feet. The flange at the base of the system riser inside the building is at an elevation of 120 feet. The static pressure at the hydrant is 100 PSI. Calculate the static pressure at the flange. Is it A, 8.66 PSI, B, 91.34 PSI, or C, 100 PSI, or D, 108.66 PSI? Solution to problem number 12, the correct answer is 91.34. When measuring static pressure with differences in height elevation, use the following formula. P1 minus P2 is equal to 0.433 psi per foot times H2 minus H1. Step 1. Calculate the elevation differences between the hydrant and the system riser. H2 minus H1. 120 feet minus 100 feet equals 20 feet. Problem number 12. We multiply the elevation difference by 0.433 psi per foot. 0.433 psi per foot times 20 feet equals 8.66 psi. Step 3. Calculate the static pressure. P1 minus P2 equals 8.66. P2 is equal to 100 psi minus 8.66 psi equals 91.34 psi. I hope this four-part tutorial has been beneficial to you. Good luck on your testing and your job. If you have any questions or comments, please contact me at craneanddave at gmail.com. Thank you.